What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 26th Express.js tutorial. So let's just copy this code into script26.js and in this tutorial we'll be doing a bit more of stuff on our login application. I have meanwhile I have done some styles so that's all that's pretty much all the styles I have written down here and the application kind of looks like this for now so that's pretty much what i have applied for styles so right now our application is a little bit biased it just redirects for the admin one and uh, doesn't actually do anything else so instead of this what we can do is we can pretty much say that uh, instead of who are you and all that stuff and yes i changed this from end to send well only the s added right here so this would just render me this html link and instead of this we can just say that uh, our request dot session dot unique id not found and actually what we can do is that right here we can just set that for everybody like that so we can now say that if session dot unique id is equal to admin then console log this and redirect to this so if i check this out in the browser abcd abcd login okay so okay so i working on script 25 actually so node mon script 26.js cool login abcd abcd and as you can see it shows me now abcd not found instead of just an abrupt message so if i do like admin then it redirects me to admin but since i don't have a route set for it so you can actually set a route for admin as well function request response request dot and response dot and you are the god and that's very much what it looks like for login as well we are able to access let me wait a minute we are able to access no we are not so good as you can see it automatically redirects me but if i just paste this link again here and change this from end to send then we'll have no problems kill session we are again redirected to login and nobody actually you can access so we need to just take care of that as well session dot unique id is not equal to admin then response dot end unauthorized access and if i reload this we see that unauthorized access is there and if I change this to send we still get unauthorized access so response is technically over here it doesn't come to this line so <clears throat> we have finally managed to create a little bit of application which involves some sort of login stuff and on the basis of this what you can do next is that you can actually fetch some data from the database the mongodb and as i told you i'm gonna make that series as well to work with node.js plus mongodb or express i should rather say and then pull out the data and then pretty much do everything you wanted to do with the users and authenticate them and redirect them throw them from one page to another and all that good stuff so that's all for this tutorial and uh, yeah i'll see you then in the next one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching